Okay, we're looking at the circuit diagram and the thing that we're interested in is, is the current between the platinum and the lead electrode, that's A2, and we're interested in the voltage between the lead and the calomel electrode, which is VC. I've also asked you to keep A1, VS and, and V0 uh, that, because that keeps a check on the fact that the cell is working. But in terms of the polarization curves, it's A2 and VC that we're interested in. So this is a set of data that you sent to me and this is a set of data where you've got the calomel electrode um, at close so both of these are close and one is with the current going forwards and one is the current going backwards and you showed me you wrote down the number of turns so 0 to 8 and this one is 0 to 8 what we want to do is uh, we want to um, see what happens when uh, the current between the platinum and the lead electrode goes from let's say cathodic to anodic or let's say anodic to cathodic so we want to see what happens with the sweep so on this top one here we go cathodic and then it goes anodic and then we've got cathodic and if you look down the current you'll notice it starts minus and then it goes to zero and then it's positive and then goes back to minus well actually what we need to do is turn this data around um, and I'll turn it around now so I'll, I'll sort this data so that it runs instead of from minus to pos positive it goes from positive to minus and then it'll make a little bit more sense so data sort and um, sort by and it's column E and smallest um, to I think largest to smallest okay get rid of that and now we've gone anodic and then it's zero and then cathodic and if you look at it here you can see you start A2 is positive gets smaller and smaller and smaller and then it goes to negative and then it gets negative and it gets more negative going down here so in other words going from 8 turn 8 to 0 and then reversing the current and going from 0 to 8 you're actually doing a sweep from positive values of current all the way to negative all right so then what you want to do is you can label them so these are anodic because it's positive and all these are cathodic and then you just need to change a little bit <coughs> of the voltage and the current because what I've noticed with polarization curves is they tend to plot the um, the voltage as millivolts and the current as amps but what you've recorded is the voltage as volts and the current as milliamps so um, what I've done here to the data is I've taken the voltage and I've taken it and I've made the voltage V0 sorry V cell which is over here V cell is in uh, uh, volts and I've converted it into millivolts down here so you can see V cell is 0.76 volts and I've changed it to 764 and over here the amps which are in milliamps what I've done is I've made them into amps so I've divided it by a thousand so it ends up to 4.25 times 10 to the minus 4 and I've done that all the way down <clears throat> and I've made the column it says absolute value so if you've got a negative down here I've converted it into a positive now I know we're changing the sign but you know and I know that even though I've changed the sign this is cathodic so it's a cathodic region the reason I'm going to change the sign is because we're going to log it on the graph because in the graph graphs it's the uh, voltage against the log of the current so We've changed everything to absolute values and we've done the same down here as well. So then we can log them. But I don't actually make a column in the graph that's logged. Rather, what I do is when you come to do it on a graph form, I plot a graph of the voltage against the current. So here I've got voltage against current. But what I do is if I 
once I've done that, if I right click this border on Excel, so I'm in the graph and I, I right click it now and go to Format Access, there's an option down here which says give it in a logarithmic scale. So if I unclick it, it'll do it in an unlogarithmic scale, so you can see it down here. But with TEFL, with polarization curves, and to get the <coughs> TEFL graph, you have to do the log. So it's it's better to do instead of logging the data, <coughs> get the graph plotted as a log instead. So I'm going to click that, and there's your graph, and that's your graph. And essentially, I want you to do that with all your data. So you should end up with data looking like this, and um, you will s see in this that the parts of it will be cathodic and uh, and parts will be anodic so the bits that are cathodic are, are ones which are um, have have values uh, here these are the cathodic ones and you can label them cathodic and they're non-zero and then the anodic ones are up up here and uh, you'll notice that on this curve the, the anodic and cathodic in your case both occur together on the forwards direction but only in the negative uh, backwards direction you've got all cathodic but it'll enable you to draw these curves and from the curve you'll be able to find two things or really one main thing is if you've done the curve you and I can sit down and we can find out the current the current what's called the corrosion current and we can do this by plotting straight lines from these curves here but I'll have to show you that but what I want you to do is to plot the data as as these these are called polarization curves because polarized because one part is to do with it being um, cathodic and the other part which is to do with it being anodic so the thing is called polarized positive and uh, uh, negative and positive okay so if you can do that to your data uh, then we can sit down and talk about it I don't think I made any sense at all there.